got it. Okay, I'm uh, Scotty Otten. I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, I am down in Grand Lake area in Oklahoma, having the state barbecue competition today. Uh, happened to be in Oklahoma City for training and heard about the competition, so I came up to see if there's some way I could help out and maybe learn more about barbecue. Been doing it for a few years. A uh, good friend of mine in Anchorage, we are attempting to bring KCBS to Anchorage, Alaska, and that's part of the reason for being down here. Uh, learn what I can, take some photos, and learn as much as I can while I'm here. It's a wonderful competition, some great teams here today, and just hoping to learn what I can while I'm here. Did manage to go to the Jack uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, a friend of mine won the Alaska competition. And I went to go cook with him. It was awesome. I got my KCBS judge certification there. Um, still working with that, trying to learn what I can as I go. So, uh, barbecue is wonderful. You meet a lot of wonderful people here. Uh, we do have one association in Fairbanks, Alaska now. Wonderful folks, great people. Uh, we're just trying to expand it and make a bigger presence. I thought one was great. My, my first sample was really good. The skin was great. The texture was good. The, 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 uh, the, uh, I, I liked everything about number one. Number two was really good, um, about the same as, as number one. Number three I thought was way overcooked. Came out uh, a little dry, a little mushy. Uh, number four uh, was equally well. The skin was a little um, tougher to chew on. It took a little bit more of a... Um, it was just a little bit tougher, took more of a bite to pull it off the bone. I really like number five, uh, excellent piece of chicken. Uh, the sauce was good, the skin was good, and, and about the same for number six. Uh, all in all, five out of the six I thought was really good pieces of chicken. Okay, well number one, number one the texture was good, but the, uh, it was a little spicy for my taste. Uh, number two was kind of dry. The uh, flavor was good, but it was a little bit too dry for me. Number three was just overdone. It just uh, was just so-so, but not mostly overdone. Number four would had a, had a good flavor, but the bottom of it was burnt, and so it was extremely tough. And uh, number five was a good uh, flavor, a good appearance, but uh, turned out to be kind of mushy. And number six is the one I like the best. Everything seemed to be right on the target. Good texture, good taste. I thought uh, for a contest, this is probably one of the best chicken boxes I've had this year. Number one was uh, delicious, it was moist, had a little bit of heat, I really like that. Two uh, was similar to that. Three uh, was dry, it affected the flavor as well as being dry. Four had a little bit of a tough skin, but it had a good flavor. And five and six were uh, both moist and very flavorful. 
Everyone said that number one was probably their best piece, but mine was a little dry, which is why I rated it lower than probably most people. And my number two was a little dry, but the taste was very good. And then on the three, it, it was a little, I don't know, it was just didn't look good in the box, a little mushy, and just kind of was like the bottom of the grates, I guess. And uh, number four, it looked bad in the box, but it didn't really turn out that way. I thought it had sort of a good flavor and uh, just a little dry. And then five and six were my two favorites because of the moisture and the flavor. I thought this was a great six entries of chicken. Some of the best we've had this season. And that's it. Out of 12 contests I've judged this year, uh, this is by far the best chicken. They all appeared very equal uh, in the box. Uh, cooking preferences for some of the chicken was uh, some was a little bit uh, undercooked, some a little bit overcooked. But all in all, a great box, great uh, a great plate of, uh, of chicken for this year. So nothing but just kudos for these guys, cooks out here. Um, overall, they were all really very tasty. Uh, number six wasn't quite as good as the other five, uh, in my estimation. Uh, I really like the, the the top three, the first three. It was hard to pick between the two. This one had a little heat after you tasted it for a while. This one was nice and sweet, and this one, the uh, sauce really complemented the meat well. Uh, I really uh, like the first five, I guess, the most. These were a little overdone, and I like this one the least. I thought we had a good selection of ribs here. Uh, uh, my favorites was the, the first one, and number four was probably my two favorites. Uh, my least favorite was uh, number six. It was way overdone. Of all these six ribs, I would say number one for m my taste and what hit uh, my plate was a perfect rib. Um, two was close, you know, a little bit more bland. Uh, the third one, a little too heavy on the sauce, but good sauce complemented. Um, the fourth one, or the last one rather, way overdone, is a little bit dry and coming apart too easily. Uh, for me, the the first three were also very good, and my favorite actually was number three. I think the, the sauce complemented it very well. Least favorite, like everyone else, is number six. That was just uh, too dry and um, just not, you know, oh, it's overdone and just not, just not, a, just not quite uh, uh, as good as the other ones, but uh, it did have some issues. All right, I think that, uh, to me, number two was, I liked it. It had three different samples. It was pretty consistent. Uh, one piece was a little bit overcooked, but overall it was okay. Uh, number three, I think they took a chance by giving us two different taste profiles. And uh, when I first bit into the sweeter piece, it was, it was okay, but it finished really salty for me. Um, number... Five probably was the one I liked the least. It was just, uh, there was an unusual flavor in there, uh, and the texture was pretty mushy. Uh, I thought the same thing on number three. It tasted uh, kind of like chicken bouillon or something. It really has salty and kind of a chicken taste. Uh, number two had a good smoke flavor and uh, pretty consistent. Um, uh, number six was uh, kind of light on flavor, but the the pork and the smoke itself was really good. I kind of I've kind of liked it. My least favorite was number three. When I bit into it, all I could taste was just salt, and uh, a couple of them there were uh, 
I can't really re recall the numbers or see the numbers there, but um, they weren't rendered all the way. They were pretty fatty. Overall, I didn't really care for any of them in particular. They were all kind of run of the run of the mill, but uh, really disliked number three. I really liked uh, number four. I thought it had a very good texture, a very good flavor. Uh, overall, that was a really good one. I, I, number three definitely had that dual uh, taste profile. Uh, one, one piece was sweeter than the other and a little bit salty on the end. And, but uh, number four was definitely a, the better one of the, of the group. I thought on appearance they all looked pretty good. My preferred sample number three. Uh, the rest of the samples uh, though were marginally good, but they had uh, uh, they were somewhat dry in some cases, a um, little bit overcooked. Uh, didn't really like one or two very good. They were a little bit heavy, too much smoke, or maybe creosote. Uh, they also had some pull going, and they pulled them too fine, so it dried out a little bit. Probably if I had to choose my favorite, it would be number three. It had a good flavor and a good texture. Uh, the rest of them were all pretty much about the same. They were about average on flavor, texture, and appearance. Judging this particular category, I thought the number one entry w had the best flavor. It was a close second to number four, but the flavor profile was there, the tenderness and the overall appearance of the plate. My least favorite was um, the number five entry, but it was close to the others as well. This was a very good plate. Thank you. I thought all entries were excellent. They all looked very nice. Uh, my favorite two were number one and number four. Number one had a nice beef flavor on the uh, slice, and then it had a nice tanginess to the burnt end. Number four was tangy on both pieces. Both were really nice and well proportioned. This competition seemed to have better cooks than we've experienced in many, many barbecues. Um, number one was really, really juicy. It was delicious. The tenderness was just right. I thought it was perfect. Um, some of the things I look for, sometimes they're just a tad bit under flavor, um, overcooked. Um, most of these were all very good. I noticed that a lot of the cooks are incorporating cayenne into um, their seasoning and just a small amount is really good but too much or too much pepper or too much salt can really ruin um, the meat very fast but overall these were excellent I don't think I gave a number today less than eight o only one time did I give a number less than eight today so the competition was really really steep and uh, the person that wins today's competition certainly deserves it thank you for the opportunity to judge this was a very difficult category because they were all very delicious. Um, I found number three to be the best for me personally. It was very moist, very tender, excellent taste. Um, my number four had a salty, a predominantly salty taste for me, so that was my least favorite. kind of a tough decision to make. Uh, all were pretty good choices here. Uh, number one and number two, I both give nine so well. And uh, they were, uh, the texture was there. They uh, it was, had good moisture to it and a good overall taste and smoke taste to it. And my least favorite uh, was uh, pretty close there in, in four and five both. Uh, they had good texture and very moist, but yet I, uh, what the uh, salty taste on number four and 
and number five, the, the sauce wasn't quite there. Mm -hmm.